When we think about after-tax proceeds, that could have a very real implication. And that difference between the transaction structure of an asset sale versus a stock sale or you know, an equity purchase sale could be very meaningful. And what we encourage our clients when we're advising through a process, or you know, certainly we work with investment bankers who you know, help with this process and advise is determining or demanding or requiring anyway, a buyer to make whole a seller for those adverse tax implications. And we find that buyers are very willing to negotiate those aspects of the agreement. So it allows our client to be made whole regardless of transaction structure on the after-tax proceeds that they initially you know, had desired. I think one of the big things also to consider up front is long-term planning. If some of the proceeds are eventually going to go to your children, you may want to think about gifting some shares to them beforehand, possibly get them into a lower tax bracket when the sale actually occurs.